welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. So good. Yeah. So good. Uh, what you I'm saying? I gotta turn my shit up. You gotta turn your shit uh, up. Uh oh. Is that you? Sorry. Here we go. You good? You wanna fuck with my man? You wanna fuck with me? She's Vietnamese, right? I don't know. It sounds Vietnamese. Oh yeah. Looks like there's a new master of accents, everybody. <laughs> I'm the max master of Asian accents because I dated a Chinese guy. Remember that, Tom? Check you out. Yeah, I remember that. Best years of my life. Uh, this is uh, submitted by Soul45. I like it. Thanks, Soul45. Try to be better about uh, naming the submission people. It's tough to stay on top of. Yep. Um, so... Next week, well, first of all, huge thank you to everybody that came out to the shows in uh, Sperm Can. They were really fun. Thank you guys very much. I'm going to Saxonville, Florida. Um, That's okay. It's not very good. Hmm. Saxon? Jackson Dicks? There you go. That's better. I'm going to Jackson Dicks, Florida. That's much better. The Comedy Zone in Jacksonville. Ja- Jackson Dicks. Next week, fifth, uh, sixth, and seventh of May, um, and then Sewer Juice, New York, <laughs> May twentieth and twenty-first. It's only four shows. The very next week, actually, Chris Jeanza is in La Jolla. Yeah. You're in uh, La, La Jolla. Jolla. Man Diego. Man Diego. Doing the comedy s- the store the comedy start. And comedy then store. in uh, June, I'm in. Pervine, California. That's good. That's good. I or, should. I, or urine. Urine. Yeah. Ah, man. Uh, at the Improv there. Man. At the Irvine Spectrum Mall. That's uh, the 9th, 10th, and 11th. And then um, what? Nashville, Smashville. Good. Yeah. Crash. Good. Cashville. Um, Rashville. Gashville. Gash. Oh, even better. That's Gashville, good. Tennessee. Yep. Yeah. June 16, 17, and 18. Wait a minute. That's my birthday. June 18. Yeah. Which number is it this Himmler's year? Himmler's birthday. What's your, which birthday is it? 40. I've, I don't look at the... People are like, what? You, you should look great. 20? You look amazing. <laughs> and then I'm going to West Balsack, New York. <laughs> uh, wait, I don't know what the real place is. West Nyack. Oh, Ny- yeah. West Balsack. Uh, West Ner... West... Nutsack? West Nutsack. Yeah. You need to keep um, the end, the end sound. Yeah, you got to keep the end yeah, there. Yeah, it's really important. Uh, that's June 23rd through 25th. I've never been to that club. Really fun, really big club. Beautiful yeah. club. They really did a great job of uh, the well, improv there. You're going to like it. Start getting some tickets. You're going to like the way you look. So, yeah. That's that, man. So we plugged mine uh, at the Comedy Store, May 27th, 20th in La Jolla. Also... Come see me. I'm at the Comedy Store here in Hollywood most Saturdays at the 7.30 p.m. show. Come see me. 
Lineups are killer. I just did the show this last Saturday. Mark Marin was there. Judd Apatow, a little indie filmmaker. Yeah. Uh, Dane Cook was doing spots. The store is on fire right now. Go, go to it. There you go. That's what's up. Oh, locally, I will be at the uh, Improv this week on what Friday. What night you're doing? Friday night? Friday uh, late show, I think. 10 p.m. <gasps> late show Friday. So if you're around, come finger see your boy. Finger your butthole, just we finger are it good. Um, finger your butthole. So, yeah. Thank you, guys. Um, to all my shows, TomSegura.com. Get your tickets. Get your life. Are you all set then, Jeans? I'm ready to party. I'm ready to party. Um, also, of course, we want to acknowledge our uh, knowledge? producer. Acknowledge. Oh, I thought you said knowledge. Our producer. Like rappers say. Blue Band is here. You Jew motherfucker, you. <laughs> oh, so. oh, look at you. You got your own drop. Yeah. Maybe we'll show his face one day. Who knows? Maybe. Depends. Whatever. You Jew motherfucker, you. So. <laughs> um, it's a lot. It's intense, babe. It's an intense drop. <laughs> <laughs> you okay with that, Blue Man? Love it. Hey, Blue Man, quit yet? of course he loves it. One thing, too, guys. If you've done it before, thank you for using our Amazon banner. But if you're shopping on Amazon, I please, please beg you, use your mom's house podcast.com's portal. Go to the banner at the bottom of our homepage. Click on it and do your shopping as normally would. It's a huge help for us. It actually, you know, it helps, it helps us be able to... Um, do a lot of things we do on this show. It, it can, helps contribute to the fact that we have a, a full-time producer. Um, producer, director. Director, he's a choreographer. Singer. Um, but all that, yeah, it, it definitely helps. Thank you, guys. Um, you ready, Jeans? Yeah, we got so much to go over. Oh, it's kind of ridiculous. Ever. Actually, didn't even bookmark any of these as the opening clip. Um, I don't know, should we go for... The, the oh, yeah, that's pretty amazing. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let me see if I can. I totally every. <laughs> Just his voice makes me laugh. I know. So good. Where I press control He's the what? Best, F? Man. Command F. Command it's F. Who's funny out of Joey Diaz? I know, you know, because you space barred it. You got to double click it to open it. God damn it. Oh, this is good for the show. Okay. Oh, <sighs> it's man. like watching an 80 year old. I I hear LinkedIn is helpful. How do I log in? Uh, there he is again. So what do I do? Command F. He's the best. Okay, here Look we go. This guy. Let's get the show started. I tell me every day. I'm gonna tell you who harasses me that I can press charges on. LinkedIn. <laughs> LinkedIn harasses me every fucking day. The social network. It's a bunch of bums that aren't working. So stop hitting me up on LinkedIn. <laughs> I'm not even opening up that account. I don't fuck with LinkedIn. I don't fuck with that shit. Professionals, you're a fucking moron. You ain't no fucking yeah. professional. Lincoln. This shit is big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother for this. <laughs> your mom in the fucking stand. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. Uh. Tom Segura, Tom and Christina Pajitsky. Welcome to your mom's house. Wink it in. He said it wrong 14 times. Wink it in. Damn it, that is so fucking funny. LinkedIn is helpful. <laughs> he <laughs> link it in. Link it Lincoln then. I don't what? fuck with Lincoln then. <laughs> Neither do I. You know, I've heard that Joey and I overlap. We don't like um text messages either. Oh my god. He hates it, right? He group, told me one text. time I'm gonna break your fingers if you send me another text. <laughs> Uh, I think he told Duncan, he's like, I'll stab you. I swear to God, I'm going to stab you in the throat if you send me more text. 
Linkedin. Link Linkedin. That and didn't didn't he say he couldn't say quinoa? Quinoa. Quinoa. <laughs> he said that to me on a flight. We got off a flight. He's like, first class bullshit meal. Give you fucking quinoa. <laughs> what? Now Joey came on our show. Back when your mom's house, we were filming in our house in Silver Lake. Yeah, old and school. And he, old school, this is before I really knew him. I just, I just met the guy, and he was telling a story about taking a shit on a tree in his backyard. You remember yeah. that? Oh, my God. Of, of his own house. Yeah, he said what? a few things on that episode. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, can, we can make what songs out that? of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. I tell you every day. I'm going to tell you who harasses me that I can press charges on. Lincoln. Lincoln. Lincoln harasses me every fuck. Lincoln. <laughs> you press charges against the, the social network. It's a bunch of bums that aren't working. So stop hitting me up on LinkedIn. <laughs> I'm not even opening up that account. Oh man, I don't fuck with LinkedIn. I think you're having fun account. with that shit. Professionals, you're a fucking moron. You ain't no fucking <laughs> professional. Uh. A bunch of bums. Ah, oh, it's the best, man. LinkedIn. Uncle Joey. That is just too much. Yeah. I laughed. I almost had a fucking aneurysm <laughs> when I saw that the other day. I love you know, that none of them correct him either. Nobody's no, you like, don't correct Joey Diaz. No. Um, the best part is uh, Joey asked me to do his podcast when I was pregnant. Yeah. And I was like, I, I don't want to inhale all that secondhand uh, weed yeah. smoke, you know? I had to be. I couldn't tell him why, but I was like, I, I don't think I should do your show. Oh, really? Well, because oh, I right. don't want to contact Heidi. Right, right, right. I was pregnant, and it's kind of inevitable when you're working with Joey Coco Diaz. Yeah. yeah no, you're going to get high. Of course. You're going to get high. sitting in the room. You shake his hand. That's yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I don't know. And you were all preggers. Yeah. So you kind of knew the answer. Yeah. Don't to LinkedIn? No. Where's the cum? To where the cum is. Where's the cum? It's all up inside you. God. <laughs> What's wrong? So you got an hour in those balls? Yeah. <laughs> wow, you're fired up today. Yeah. Huh? Man. Gray whiskers? I'm so, I know I got so many gray whiskers. Yeah, and in your hair, too, this morning, I noticed you got a lot more. Uh, got some cum in my hair? Salt and cum in there, yeah. <laughs> a lot of cum in your hair. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so do you like my jacket? I do like your jacket today. It's funny because when I bought this jacket, yeah. you were like, you look like MacGyver. <laughs> It's, it's, you know, what's interesting is that now that I go back, <coughs> that's, this is the third jacket that you've mocked me for. Well, no. One jacket you put on, I go, I hate you that jacket. You hated it. Yeah. I remember that jacket. Right. I hated that jacket. Yeah, I know. Thank you. I, and I threw it away promptly because I don't want you to have to hate what I'm wearing. Right. But I also, you, you, you told me that you really appreciated me saying how I felt about it. Right. Because you said that I always am like, yeah, cool. Now here's the thing, though. This MacGyver jacket yeah. actually, I think, looks really good on... I really think it's cool. ...on the, on the video. You know? I like it. Covers up my fatness and everything, and it's a nice color. Babe, I like the jacket. Okay. But you didn't before. You told me never to wear this. You're like, you I look like MacGyver. Said, it looks stupid. You're making... You did! You're so fucking crazy. What are you talking I about? I didn't say, don't wear that. You look stupid. Not like that, but you were like, it, the, uh, you were like, you just went, you went, uh, nah, it looks like MacGyver. And then I just stopped wearing it for like a year. I don't remember that at all. I don't remember that at all. Well, it happened. Okay. I mean, your version of shit, I think it happens in your head and you see it. You N- what are you talking about? You talk to it? Just because you don't remember it, I'm crazy? Well, I remember a fucking conversation we had the other day that you just completely spun around. Which conversation? You, okay, which conversation? I'll tell you which conversation. This fucking conversation right here. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. I want to start oh, this yeah. shit off straight, telling all three of y'all stop this. playing with my name. Let's go on there. Let's go. Stop playing with my fucking name. Let's go. Let's okay, do it on camera. Stop playing with my name. Let's I ain't go right on it. Ugh. Nigga, when my name come up, respect it. Let's go. Stop playing with my fucking name. All drill, y'all. Stop playing with my name. I ain't going to say it no more. So. <clears throat> that was intense. And yeah. when I told you about that clip. Y'all ready? Were... Yes, sir. I want to start this shit. And I'm here. What's happening? I'm all good. But I'm yeah, saying, why come here just Look, to I'm curse here. us What's up? What's happening, man? I wanted to see you. So this is uh, for people listening. Obviously, we haven't done a good job of introducing what they're listening and to. And by the way, if you're just listening to this show, you're really missing out because we're on YouTube now, full episodes, and you can see the clips that you're hearing. Talk about 
a huge improvement in your life. Yeah. So subscribe to us on YouTube, okay? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Slash your mom's house podcast, right? YouTube.com slash your mom's oh, house yeah. podcast. Yep, yep. Subscribe, because we also have behind the scenes y'all, stuff. Y'all, y'all finished or y'all done? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Go ahead. No, that was it. Oh, because y'all finished, y'all done. Y'all finished, y'all done. <laughs> y'all ready? Uh, I won't start this so, shit off. Wait, wait. Straight, I got a good I'll idea. Feel, y'all stop Since we're kind of not name. really having... So tell, tell everybody what, what they're listening to. So this is the Birdman. <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw this on Instagram because uh-huh. I think Marlon Wayans had posted it. And I just saw some guy getting all pissed. And I, I saw it and I like... Filed it away, and then you brought it up, and mm-hmm. I was like, "Who?" Because I didn't know that guy's name was Birdman. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, "Birdman." I'm like, "Oh, I don't know who that is." And then I later put the two things together in my head. But you're accusing me of lying, and you're calling me crazy. Because I ex- we had a phone call over the weekend. Yeah, I was in sperm can, and I'm talking to you. Yeah, and I expl- explained to you in detail yeah. about this. And then when we sat down here, and, and you go. Do you have the Birdman clip? And I go, yeah, of course. And you go, oh, uh, yeah, like uh, I told you about that. And I was like, what are you talking about? You have no <laughs> I idea. didn't say I told you. Did I say I told you about that? I did? Yeah. Oh, I was joking. <laughs> okay. I knew I, no, I knew I didn't break the news to you. I just I had seen it is what I said. That's okay. what I meant, rather. I was familiar with the Birdman's work. Okay. Put some now, respect on my name. <laughs> but he's, he's practically crying. Dude, he's Why is so, he so mad at them? So let's, let's go over for what's going on. So Birdman, for those of you that don't know, he is uh, um, a hip-hop mogul, like uh, one of the OGs from the 90s. He started Cash Money Records. He had that, you know, that whole wave of guys. Um, Manny Fresh was his producer, Juvenile, Lil Wheezy, Lil Wayne. That whole crew, they sold millions and millions of records. Yeah. He has a net worth well over $100 million. Jeez. Uh, and, you know, he's just like the rest of the moguls in hip-hop. He has a fashion line. He has a liquor line. He's, you know, very he's, savvy. He's a writer, producer. Yes, very savvy maker. business guy. But in recent years, he's gotten a lot of flack for some of his um, record contracts, the fact that he has Lil Wayne tied up and won't let him out of a deal. And mm. so people have kind of... <clears throat> really shit on him for that, especially within hip hop. Mm. And so what's happening is that this guy right here, Charlemagne, uh, the God, he had talked about Birdman's business practices with a couple other guests who were hip hop artists, Trick mm. Daddy and Rick Ross. I like Rick Ross, the boss. That's he was right. on Chelsea lately when I was there. You, and you stole his hat. I stole his hat. Um, well, Birdman comes in. And he has all this in his head, like, you guys have been talking shit when you had Rick Ross, when you had Trick Daddy. So he comes in right away and is like, you need to put some fucking respect on my name. I saw that, yeah. Um, And then this Mm. whole thing, this was supposed to be an interview, obviously, lasts, you know, like less than two minutes. Oh, so he didn't stick around and they didn't This is the whole thing. We already gave you a little bit of it. So here's, here's how it starts. He said that before they were rolling. And then this guy's like, well, let's roll. Let's go. Let's go, you know? Special guest in the building. He done cursed us out. Tell him, tell him, get it oh, off your chest, Birdman. he is the God. I thought you were joking. No, no. Because no, no. <laughs> I, I don't understand the angle. Like, what? Like, I did it already. So why I come here? I did it already. I'm here. So what's happening? I mean, it's all good, but I'm, I'm saying, why, why, why? And I'm here. What's happening? I'm all good, but well, I'm saying, why I come that, here man. just Look, to I'm curse here. us what's up? What's happening, man? I wanted to see you. I wanted to talk to you and your man and your face. Absolutely. You understand me? I knew a p- few places you was at. I could have pulled up, but I don't think that was gangster. I wanted to come look you in your face like a man and tell you how I feel. Okay. You understand me? Straight up like a man. So no what's the issue? No sugar. Ain't no issue. If it was an issue, you, you'll feel me. I just come to let y'all know, stop, put some respect on my name. Mm. You understand me? When y'all saying did, my name, put some respect on it. Did you, did you, respect. respect. Yeah. Put R-E-S-P-E-C. K. K. <laughs> <laughs> Put some respect on my name. <laughs> Pull up on Ross that way, or Trick Daddy? Man, I'm pulling up on you, nigga. Oh, Whoa. shit. Yeah. But I'm the radio guy. Why well, pull up on the radio guy? Don't yeah. act tough with the radio guy. I hate my nigga. Y'all, y'all, y'all finished Damn. or y'all done? You I ain't that? got no more talking. Damn. <laughs> he just got up like that. Right. Mm-hmm. He had like seven mm-hmm. deep, too. Look and he had those nice chains. You should get those Just chains. 
Oh, God, I hear my nigga. Y'all, y'all, y'all finished or y'all done? I ain't got no more talking. Then why That's you quite come a question, in? though, right? What? Y'all finished or y'all done? Y'all finished? Or y'all done? Or y'all done? It's nonsense. Yeah. He's giving them the same option. Sure. Right. Are you finished or are, are you, you done? all done? Yeah. Then neither way is a no win. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say don't piss hey, the guy off that has tattoos on you his ready? head, right? You ready or you want to go? <laughs> He's got a lot of tattoos. Yeah. Would you piss that guy off? Teardrops, stars. Yeah. He's got a fucking oil field tattooed on the other side of his head. Really? With oil coming out of oh, it. Oh, yeah. boy. Yeah. Now, my question is, though, if you're just going to come in and be angry, why go, in, why go in at all? I think for him, that was him making his point. His point was, I am going to show up. Like, he misled them and, and said, uh, yeah, I want to do an interview and talk. And then, what he really wanted to do was show up and go, put some respect on my name. Put some respect like, on don't talk shit name. about me. Sure. You know? Wow. Yeah. That's, that's a crazy move, dude. Yeah, or yeah. You, or you could just say, I don't want to do your show. But that's not... I mean, I don't then they don't really it. understand how serious you are. Yeah. I think on some level, a lot of people made a lot of jokes about this. Like, we've been making jokes about it, too. But on some level, those guys in that studio feel how serious yeah. he is. I felt it. Yeah. I got scared for a minute there. I was like, oh, shit. I'm sure they're much more scared. In, in the actual, I don't know if it's in this um, pre-roll, in the before they, um, <clears throat> Jeez. but when he comes in here and he's like, Stop fucking doing this shit. You can see the girl who's part of the show, and she, her eyes dart around like what? Well, yeah, because he's bringing in all his dudes. Like you don't know what's gonna happen, Uh, right? Oh yeah, dude. She knows that this is no good. You can tell. Look, look, she's she's been in some fights. Morning, everybody. She's yeah. Yeah. She's like she's um, been around some shit. (laughs) She's worked at the station long enough. Yeah, she's seen some fights. Ah, Where the fuck is that? Mm. God damn it. This thing fucking sucks. I'm gonna press pause, mommy. No. Y'all ready? Yes, sir. I want to start this shit off straight, telling oh, all boy. three. All right. All right, See you later, nigga. <laughs> Big words in the studio. That. That. They're He's all like, like, nah. Yeah. Um, well, grand opening, grand closing. <laughs> all right. Well, there you have it. <laughs> Nah, we good. We good. You know, you know, there you have man, it. what about all my notes? We good. Oh. Yeah. You know what's funny though is um like all the black people I follow on Instagram, they're all lighting up this guy. Yeah, of course. Like I mean, Tamar big... posted some funny shit, like some remix. Everybody did. Yeah. They're all clowning on him. Yeah. I mean, I guess he just had, he had his feelings hurt, huh? Yeah. But he can't go in there and be like, guys, my feelings are hurt. No. <laughs> no, you can't. Well, he kind of said that. I'm telling you how I'm feeling right now. You know. Yeah. Put some respect on my name. He said, he sounds like he's going to respect gonna, on my name. His yeah. voice quivered my name. He also took off and then put back on his sunglasses like four times. He's really upset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, it sounds it reminds me of POP all day. All oh, right, where you can hear her voice. Just, yeah. She's about to cry. Yeah, he's about yeah. to cry. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Put some respect on my name. Yeah. Nice. And you can you can hear the quiver in the yeah. voice there. Yeah. Poor guy. Well, wow, he really yeah. got fired up, huh? He really did, man. Wow. He really did. Um, <clears throat> Damn, Oof. poor this guy, is... poor Birdman. Yeah, I don't like to. I don't like to know his feelings are hurt like that. I want to give him a hug. I bet. Um, I bet Lil Wayne had a good laugh about that. Oh, is Lil Wayne like on, on his label or whatever? Yeah, remember I just told you all about that. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I forget all the names you rattled off. I mean, okay. I heard y'all, y'all. Y'all finished or y'all done? <laughs> y'all finished. Is it? Are you sure it's or? All you all done? Yeah. Y'all, y'all finish or is it? Y'all finish? Y'all done? Y'all, y'all, y'all finish or y'all done? Yeah, or, or yeah, yeah, he says yeah, or. Yeah. Y'all, put some respect yeah. on my name. Put some respect on my name. Yeah. All the day. Respect. Respect. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. That is a good one. I'm so yeah. glad I brought that to your attention. <sighs> Go ahead. I missed you. You were in sperm can all. I week. was. How was, was it? Good? It was really great. I had, um, thankfully, my buddy, uh, the full charge with me, and we had really fun shows. The crowds were, were excellent. Amazing. Uh, it's a brand new club. You know, it's only been open six weeks. No shit. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know it's that. It's the same family that owns the Tacoma Comedy Club. To come on you. To come on you also owns Sperm Can, because they have like the whole come locked down there in, <laughs> in Washington. Oh, um, yeah. But they, they killed, yeah, they killed it. They did a great job with the club. Good. Yeah. Did you eat anything good? 
Mm, yeah, I went to um, uh, Churchill's first night. What's that chicken? It's a steakhouse. Oh, like Winston Churchill. Yeah, I've heard and, of that guy. Uh, not Church's chicken. That's what I, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's what I heard. God, I heard Church's. Uh, Dude, it's all chicken. Put some respect on my name. It's all- Churchill's. It's Churchill's. Um. So yeah, I went there, and then yeah, we we had a couple other, you know. I, I DJ a little bit. I don't know if you saw my Instagram, but uh, I hit up, uh, I hit up a, a club, and you know, what I'm saying they were shut down already, but they're like, we heard about your dad mouth. If you want to spin, and I was like, yeah, I'll give you a little flavor. And then what? But you told me about this, and mm-hmm. then you were like, but what happened with it? What do you mean? You're like, I showed up at what time? Did you start DJing? It was after they closed, so like two. Yeah. And then you were like, how many songs did you do? Not that many. Because I hit, I hit the weed. Because mm, you're like, I'm tired. But that's because I hit the weed, though. And then DJ Deadmouth had to go well, sleep. Well, I, I had already had a drink or two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then somebody was like, hey, it's Washington. Smoke this. Mm-hmm. And it was literally, I was with Matt. And I go, dude. And then he does. And then I was like, woof. I got to go back. And he's like, I'm he with went, you. He went, woo, woo. <laughs> yeah. It got that woo, woo. Yeah, it was, it was pretty quick. Yeah, uh, it was, real. Once you have the drinks in you. Yeah. Oh, you can't you, mix. Nah, man. Uh, we both were like, it's time to go. <laughs> I don't even think we said bye to the people that brought us there. We were like, mm-hmm. we're out. We just kind of. I can't even yeah. be high in public for that reason. I can't no. talk to people when I'm stoned. You know what's so funny? I did AJ Hawk's podcast, the football player. Yeah. And he was talking about how uh, some wives get resentful when their husbands are on the road having fun. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, yeah, I hate his guts. Oh, you, you're the, you're the, like, you wrote the book on that shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you didn't tell me you were getting high and drinking and stuff. Yeah. I, I'd really hate your guts a lot more. Yeah, I saved know? it. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Now I hate you. Right. Well, I'm home different. with the kids, trying yeah. to sleep, train the baby, and you're yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. cool. But I don't tell you that while it's going on, so you don't. Yeah, hate smart. Me more. That's yeah. a smart move on your part. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'll get you back later. Okay. What is this? Does right Luke here? Wilson teach tennis? I like to learn. About you tennis. keep mentioning Luke Wilson. Oh yeah. I just like him. Hey, um, do you want to tell them what happened uh, before I left last week when we took that uh, romantic <laughs> shower together? Oh, my God. So Tommy and I, we've been together a million years, and there was one house I lived in. My first shower that was great. It was like a fire, a fire hose dumping, and it was a big shower, yeah. and you and I used to shower together in the mornings. Very romantic. This is the beginning. Before work, we had day jobs, and we would get up. Sure. And, yeah. 2005. Jeans and jeans, showering together every morning. It was really sweet. I would put a shampoo on your head, and you would suds my back, and we'd make kissy faces, and then go to work. Yeah. Now, the next two houses, we always had small showers, so we, showers were out yeah. until now. Yeah. And we've got this wonderful shower and uh, with two heads on it or whatever. It's and nice. it's really it's a miracle. It's a miracle. Mm. And so... You know, we get the, like, hey, let's go take a shower together. It's been a good few years since we've done that. And it starts off okay. And then all of a sudden, um, little things, like you're lathering your head, but extra hard. And then now the suds are, like, hitting my eyes. <laughs> you you like it freezing cold. I like it warm, like a person. But you don't like it warm. You like burn, third degree burns hot. You yeah. It's so hot. Yeah. That's a shower. It's killing the bacteria and stuff. Man. And then my, so I'm like, okay, but I'll let that slide. I don't say anything to you. And then you spread your ass cheeks. You spread them. And you're not doing this as a joke. Spreading your asshole open. And then the water is hitting your asshole. And I'm right next to you. Like, really, bro? You're going to do that? All right. Well, to clean it out. Right. Yeah. You don't think you could be a little more discreet or cognizant? But then I took the bar of soap and I put it in there. That's a <laughs> And then you go... What are you doing? Yeah. I'm cleaning my asshole. Yeah, but you're not supposed to take the bar and mash it against the dirty part. Yeah, you are. No, that's what savages do. I've always done that. Yeah, because you're a bear. You're not a person. No, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. But then you contaminate... No, you contaminate the bar. That's what it was like. Sniff that one, baby. Yeah. Oh. oh, and then I made notes because I didn't want to forget. And then you farted in the shower, That's too. That's what that was for, yeah. Yeah, because you spread your asshole and then you farted. 
And then my favorite, unbelievable. This is it gets wilder. <laughs> uh, the <laughs> horking, yeah, horking loogies yeah. next to me in the shower. I'm trying to cuddle with you, kiss your face, kiss your beard. I kissed you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You pee on me all the time. In the shower. You piss on me. In the shower. Yeah. And all that I can even tolerate until you blew snot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the deal breaker for me. You were... And then the snot came out all over your beard and it gets stuck in your beard. And I almost vomited in the shower. That's when I was like, all right, I'm done. I got to go. I almost threw up. I'm like, it's like showering with a hobo. <laughs> Like a, a vagrant who's never been in an indoor shower before. Oh, oh man. You were like, it's a homeless person. Yeah. Like you've never been in a shower before. That's how I shower. God. <laughs> I forgot the horrors. <laughs> well, you got like, to gotta clean all the pipes out, you know? You got to get rid of everything. All of it, apparently. You yeah. farted. You spread your asshole. You horked loogies. You on you. snotting. You pissed on me. I didn't jerk off. That's the one, thing, the one boundary <laughs> left in our marriage, maybe. Yeah. We still haven't had that. Or I haven't walked in on you jerking them. I've no. been waiting for that to happen for years. I, I'm at the point now where I'm kind of excited about it. So <laughs> sometimes now, like, because I used to be like really like, ooh, be real careful. Yeah. But now I'm like, eh, just let it happen, you know? Let it happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just expect it now. I'm like, come on, she's going to walk in there. What would you do? Finish. You would just look at me? Would you make eye contact? <laughs> Probably. Maintain it? Or would you just get out of here <laughs> and then finish? I think I would just be like, watch, 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 watch. Watch, watch, watch. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah. It's been a long time. Since what? That we've been, you know, together. That, 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 that hasn't happened yet. It's kind of crazy. Especially considering I do it pretty often, you know? Yeah, when, when? When the baby's crying and here's or the other something? Thing. Does that turn you on? We have a, a shower. There's no bathroom door. Because it's one of those bedrooms where it's it just, just goes an open in. bathroom. Yeah, I know. I've been waiting to catch you in there. Well, I've done it in the shower a few times, so. When I've been home? Yes. Oh, gross. Gross. It's probably when I've been with the kid, though, right? Yeah, I hope you're smart enough to do it when I'm with the baby. As opposed to where? When? When I'm walking free and maybe I'd come in and. Well, why would I have to worry about that? You're my wife. Yeah, but I don't want to watch you jerking off. I don't want to catch you and have that horrible, awkward moment. I didn't know that. Why, why, would you, <laughs> why would I want to catch you masturbating? It's not part of my life. I don't want to know it. I don't, want, I don't need to know. I would think a lot of people would want to see that. <laughs> Nobody wants to see you masturbate. Really? You look like a homeless person. Do you know, you keep saying Do you that. Blow you, think, no, you blow your nose, too. And as I jerk off? Fart and hork and everything. As I jerk off? Yeah. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> I have to get myself worked up. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> They're real. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Did I tell you about the wife? I, t- I talked about this on the show, but I'll talk about it again. What? The wife that walked in on the husband jerking off onto his shit. Yes. God. Did you have to take it there? Yeah. Uh, Can you believe that one? Yes. God, that one's wild, man. That's what God. I'm afraid of. Where's the come? Not like I need to fucking know that. Okay, listen. Can I read this email? Yeah. Subject, double pipe classic question. Very important. (laughs) Very important. Okay. (laughs) Hi, mommies. I was taking my regular dump this morning when I let out the usual pre-brown fart. (laughs) He writes, I burped at the same time. I was absolutely shocked and couldn't believe what happened. It was a very exciting moment. However, does this count as an authentic, pure double pipe classic or would it be considered a double pipe classic? With special circumstances. <laughs> uh, I will point out that I was sitting down on the toilet, but the double pipe classic happened at least 30 seconds before any brown exited my anus. Hmm. It's a really good question. How do you feel about it? <sighs> you know, I think putting uh, circumstances around the double pipe classic isn't fair because, look, they're like Haley's Comet. They come around... So rarely. Yeah. It doesn't really matter how one has a double pipe or just I don't that so one has a double pipe. I think even during a murder, it's still a double <laughs> pipe classic, you know? Uh-huh. Like whatever. A murder? Yeah, like if you were to be thrown out of a building and I mean, as you hit the ground, you farted and burped, you get to take that to the credit. grave. Yeah, you get credit for yeah, that. I yeah, I think so too. So um, I don't believe in the special circumstance either. I would say, sir, you 
<laughs> Hydra double pipes. Hydra double pipe classic. And it's uh, <laughs> it's something to be celebrated. I would tell people about I would make Facebook posts. I would, yeah. Yeah. I would share that. It's really cool. Who invented the, that term? Is that a top dog term? Mm, oh, it's generations old. Right. Yeah, yeah. Is that in the Bible? I think it's the old. It might Testament. be. It might be in the Bible. It's certainly in like Shakespearean stuff. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Doth half made a, a double, double pipe, pipe classic. I think, I think it's in Romeo and Juliet actually. Yeah. Because she kind of uh, g- gets after him for having one or something. Like she's on the balcony. I remember that. He's like, oh, Juliet, and then he yeah. farts and burps, and she's like, Romeo, a double pipe classic. Yeah, that's right, and yeah. that's what gets her. Mm-hmm. And then they get married. See, and then you're here, sitting here giving me a, me a hard time about it, but you know, it's yeah. actually it's it's a it's loving true thing. love. You know, your sister uh, just got married, and I was looking through those wedding photos this morning. And I was like, wow, look at what a happy time. Just that wedding. It's yeah. Romantic. And then, you know, flash forward nine, eight years. Yeah. Taking a shower with your husband, blowing snot rockets and spreading his asshole in the shower. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I agree. <laughs> it's pretty. A little wedding's a little misleading, no? Are you saying you want me to dial it back? No. There's nothing I can do. The train's already left the station, you know. Which is the one you want me to cut out, though? Oh, Mo, I, the snot rockets. Snot rocket, yeah. In the shower, I don't even mind getting pissed on anymore. <laughs> like I just expect it now. I'm like, nah, what's that warm? Oh, it's Tom peeing on me. The ass spreading, even that I can tolerate. I think the hork, the, the the horking and the snot rocketing. I can't. I can't. The horking, the loogie is the. Oh. It makes me want to vomit. Oh, speaking of that, um, uh, this guy, <laughs> big fan. Uh, let's see if I can. Big fan. Yeah. He's a big fan of the show. He's a big fan of what you were just saying. Yeah. Was it her or the other woman that was offensive? They both were. Yeah. They both were offensive. It was, it was so strong. <laughs> They had a smell, or they yeah. just smelled. That was Man, it. Man, that was Aguilar. It's like this trying to pull up. I don't like what it. it smell? <laughs> I don't like what it smell like? So this guy's trying to describe the smell of a woman somewhere, and he uh, he keeps just gagging. He has a a dry heaving. Yeah, I don't reflex. like it. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but you were just describing it, so. I was it just I can't like listen to body odor? Like, no, I can't even listen to dry heaving. Drink soaps or no? Shut up. The wife loves she it. Was it a farm it. smell? Were they working no. on a farm? No, it was just... <laughs> 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 right, <laughs> he, he really... Oh, man. That's so good. She's really tickled by that. She is. She is. Um, let's see if we got this set up. Here he is doing it... Um, I, I can't watch dry heaving. Uh, multiple times. Oh. It was... <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> No, I hate oh. barfing. You know that. <laughs> I hate it. Oh my god, babe. Well, all right. I'll take. I took it down, babe. You're the worst. <laughs> I got something else for you. You'll like this. No. Come on. What's this bullshit? Yeah. I'm yeah. back. I'm back. You're back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we play Dennis Rodman. I'm back. Wow! Uh, um, wow! Watch this bullshit. Our our favorite family. Um, we are the Braxtons, and you'll see. Is that our favorite family? Yes, that's my favorite family. That, that's exactly right. Uh, we have a clip of them. Tony, Tamer, Tracy, to wanna, to wanna me me see me we'll teach, teach you a thing, thing or two on Braxton family value. We are the Braxton. Like an ordinary family, only trust you to 
So, here they are. Well, I'll just have them uh, tell you. I about missed it. the Braxtons. We we have so much. Oh, I've seen this episode. I like it. This video. This lady was having an orgasmic twitch, 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 twitch for three hours. Who wants to do that? She, did. she didn't. It's involuntary. It doesn't stop for several hours. Even the woman, she was like, I don't want to do this no more. <laughs> Then she went onto her bed, and she couldn't. She was, uh, uh. Yeah, I love them so much. I don't want. There's a twitch. There ain't no twitch. You got something taking over your body. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. So if a man has an erection longer than he's supposed to, supposed an erection goes. What? No, baby, that's that blue pill. If you have an orgasm for three hours, don't no dingling supposed to make you feel that good. And if it do, keep it away from me. I'm good. <laughs> I love her. But she had that weird, yeah, that weird affectation. Yeah, yeah. But that's Trina, right? Yeah, yeah. Trina yeah. has that weird one. Oh, I'm the host. She has that pronunciation. That the reason that it's so fucking bizarre. The host. The host is that she grew up with them. Yeah, she's the only one that talks like that. That's they all talk the normal. Weirdest and then part of it. Trina is who. Picks up that affect. I don't it know. really is the only weird part. I mean, if if they all did that, oh, this flea flu's uh, been here. Where's the thief? He'll kill it. Thief feels so good at killing flies. I know, but he's get a blue man. Oh shit! It's about to go down. Oh, close. <laughs> this is when Tamar was a little bit more normal. They were having their vaginas steamed. And I remember in this episode, their vaginas are steamed. Yeah, they're they're getting their vaginas steamed right now. It's like some. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it sounds weird. Yeah, it's kind of stupid. Uh, but anyway, I think they just did it for the show. Like, not real. Oh, right. Like like a lot of things. Yeah, right? like yeah. we're going to get spray tan. They got to they, they gotta end up giving those people something to do, you know? Yeah, they can't just sit around and talk. They have to sit around and talk and get their vagina steamed. Silly. Would you want to have a three-hour orgasmic twitch? No. Oh, God. When we're at your funeral. Yeah. And you just keep coming all over him, mm-hmm. all over your dad, all over your dad's dead body. <laughs> Gosh. He doesn't come, though, every time, right? Well, it's not stuff coming out, but he's feeling like he's coming. Right. But he, could you imagine? I didn't think of that. If he just filled his pants all the time, too, then he'd have, like, his pants would be all wet. That's right, babe. Can't pick up the kids at the <laughs> you said school that, or nothing, you said you know? that like you just figured that out. I did. I, <laughs> I didn't put that together before. Yeah. Like his shorts would be all wet. Ugh. Yeah, you don't want to have nasty. three and four hour nasty. erections either, you know? You don't want that? No. Viagra might be helpful. Yeah. Be bad. <laughs> yeah. Very bad. Isn't that what Viagra does, though? Yeah, it's it makes exactly you dick what it hard does. for three yeah. hours. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's silly. Cool. Yep. Can I, speaking of dick hard, I got um, a random text message. Viagra might be helpful. Yeah. <laughs> You know, this is the, the the new phone number, not even new anymore, maybe a year. And I I keep getting random texts and random voicemails. I just got this one on Saturday, 10.35 p.m., and all it says is, sticks on deck. What the fuck does that mean? Sticks on deck. Sounds like I'm ready to fuck. That's what I thought. Like Maybe it's a sexting Thing you're getting sexted. Sticks on deck. Maybe it's like, uh, a sticks on deck, bitch. Maybe it's one of your comedy club contacts. Yeah, yeah, sure. And then I I texted my millennial friend, and she said it sounds like. Hold on. Sounds like. Did you go? Sounds like. It sounds like. No, no, no. She goes. Uh, never heard that one. Look at the sticks like blunt wraps. Maybe the blunts. Oh, are, oh, maybe oh, yeah. the blunts are on deck. Wow, you're millennial. It's very savvy. <laughs> I know. Yeah. This is my one contact with the young people. Sticks on deck. It could be. Sticks on deck. Blunts are ready to roll. Sticks on. A marijuana deck. cigar, if you will. Yeah. yeah, yeah, sure. So fucking old. Well, not only did you get sticks on deck. Yeah. You also got, for after a long hiatus, <laughs> new <laughs> Persian voicemail. Yeah, that's neat, right? The same lady. Same lady. And it's weird because it's been going on for months and months. And I have a theory on this. I understand. Yeah. Why. Okay. This lady 
like people that are not uh, from the millennial generation, yeah. that are from the generation even before us, she perhaps is dialing from memory. <gasps> so she is dialing oh, every time. Oh, right. She's not doing a saved number. Uh, oh, I'm calling my friend. And then dials. And it's like a digit off every time. Or, okay, that's one excellent theory, mm-hmm. uh, Brown Lock. Or she's got like maybe that the old number saved in her phone and there's two numbers for one person. You ever have that? Oh, like a new one and an old one? There could be. Yep, that's another option. Yeah. The reason that I, I thought that she was dialing from memory is that there are, there's clearly, there's probably some interaction in between these things because right. she doesn't go like, you never called me back, which right. means that they probably speak. At some point, and maybe she's dialing correctly sometimes and correctly, incorrectly other times. Well, because she clearly hasn't figured out that this number doesn't get a response. Right. So you're right. The interaction kind of comes and goes, which leads me to believe it could be an alternate phone number. Like with my dad, I have his old number and his new. Yeah, yeah. But then you... <sighs> well, here's what came in this weekend first. Shit. I was calling to say, can you call me please? I'm calling to do Airbnb. to look at the video. You know, I'm going to Thank you so much, Matt. Thank you so much, Matt. That's really fast. Yeah, Matt. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye. She likes how she throws the English in there. Thank you, Matt. Can you call me, please? I'm going to do Airbnb. I'm going to do Airbnb. I'm going to do Airbnb. Thank you so much, Matt. Thank you so much, Matt. Thank you so much, Matt. Okay, so talk to you soon. Bye. And then you think mm-hmm. that's it, and then she calls you again. Again. Hey, come on in. Rod, why didn't you take the notice for the tenant? Hello, Rod. Come back, please. Rob. So, wait, so, wait it's Salome. I thought it's Salome. Yeah. And now this person's Rob. This woman's just dialing. She's dialing. And leaving messages for everybody. Just with no discretion. No discretion. No discretion to her dialing. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah. You got to get your dialing sense. together, lady. Yeah. Anyway, I'm still getting those nice voicemails. Yeah. I please. Still... This time she said, please. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Rob, come on. Come, come on. Come back, please. <laughs> yeah. I still get nursing gigs for Shanaz. <laughs> Shanaz. This is uh, yeah. Brent calling from uh, the nursing. I wish Shanaz would know, you know, because she's like. Shanaz is missing out on all kinds of business opportunities. Babe. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> What are you doing to me? <laughs> Babe, no. I don't want it. He doesn't vomit. Uh, but I don't like the dry heave. That's why I don't like horking. I don't like it. Okay, okay. I'm closing it. Gosh. Man, you're just torturing me. It's fun to torture you. You're my wife. Um, <clears throat> so really sad news is that uh, we lost another icon. God damn it. The day after... Uh, last week's episode aired on my flight up to uh, sperm can. I get a message. Prince died. Oh, my God. It's devastating, dudes. And we thought it was because I dropped charge to the game, my new football podcast. And then he listened to it and dropped dead? Yes, because he didn't like football. <laughs> but that's not what happened. That's not what happened. No. Uh, first Whitney, then Michael, mm-hmm. now Prince. That's the Holy Trinity. I know. There's only Madonna's the only one left. Yeah, she's the Holy Spirit. But yeah. Of, our, <laughs> yeah, of the childhood stars. I yeah. can't. Uh, Cindy Lauper, I would say, is another great. Uh, he's fifty-seven. He was but he fifty-seven. Was genius level. Yeah, genius. I know. We're gonna get the autopsy reports back. Are, uh, are they sending them to you? Well, yeah. They, well, the guy, the coroner there said, "Tom, I'll try to get it to you first. <laughs> um, oh, okay. So that's like in another week or so. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, I'll probably get it like tomorrow before but, everybody right, else. Right. Yeah, but." Um, no, I, I mean, I'm curious to, to see what killed him. You know, he's so uh, that's too young to die. What the fuck? Well, they're saying Why? it's wait, that pneumonia. And then someone brought up a point that he's a Jehovah's Witness and mm-hmm. maybe he refused medical treatment. Well, he had an emergency plane landing the week before. He was flying back from a gig. Uh, they landed his plane in Illinois. It was only like... I think it's Illinois. Right. It was only about 30 minutes or so from Minneapolis, but they deemed it that important. Landed, took him to a local hospital. They wanted him to stay in the hospital, and he, they didn't secure a private room for him. Oh, and he was like, why the nope. F- it's Prince. You should secure a private hospital so for Prince. He took off. Of course. The next day, there was a dance party at Paisley Park, his compound in, oh, um, wow. outside of Minneapolis, and supposedly everything was fine. 
and then obviously this is, you know, then there was footage of him riding his bike around his neighborhood and stopping Aww. into a record store. So all that they said was fine. It does lead, you know, a lot of like the medical people to think that you don't realize how many people die of the flu and pneumonia every year. That's it's so thousands. Young, but he's only, that's for old people. No, or it's not, it's young, not always. Right? Yeah, old and young are more common to die with it. But what, the point being that oh. if your body is weak, so he's already been hospitalized, yeah. Yeah. should have say your, your immune system is a little bit weaker, you're yeah. already sick, and then you get that and yeah. you're not taking care of it. You know, your your lungs fill up with fluid and you die. I thought he had maybe HIV or something and nobody knew. Mm. Who knows? Mm. We'll find out. He's so talented. He wrote songs for so many people, too, which is the crazy part. Yeah. Shit that you don't even know Man. that guy was responsible for. I just remember uh, Purple Rain came out. I bought the album when I was a little girl. Really? Seven or eight years old. I had it on. I had a 33 of When Doves Cry and on the back was... 17 Days was another song. Yeah. And I didn't know what that stuff... I didn't know what masturbation was. I learned about it from Darling Nikki. I learned about sex through Purple Rain. That was like one of the the seminal, if you will, albums of yeah. my childhood. And yeah. Apollonia, seeing her tits, I remember she jumped in the Lake, lake Titicaca or whatever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Remember seeing Apollonia's tits for the first time? Sure, man. You were like, whoa, there's tits in a movie? And I think Prince was is interesting. He was kind of like... As a kid, I was like, "What is this guy?" Because he was so he yeah. was so different, but yeah. so singular, so unique. Yeah, you know, I would watch see Prince, and I was like, "This dude is unlike any dude that I've seen or known." Because he had that kind of non-binary, non-binary quality to him, right? You know, he kind of morphed yeah. between the two genders. Well, he was a fem, a fem man, a fem, feminine, heterosexual. Right, like yeah. David Bowie. Right. I think David Bowie may have been bisexual. There was rumors that there he was, was sleeping with There was an era dudes. that he was, yeah. But yeah, he was a femme guy, and he was he loved it, and he was short. You know what's interesting about Prince is that... Five two. He was tiny, and he yeah. wore those little heels. Yeah. Is that Prince, was what was magic about him is that he believed he was sexy. Right. He really believed that he was... When you look at him objectively, look at a picture, a photograph of Prince, and you'd be yeah. like, this guy's fucking five feet tall. He's a shrimp. Right. And he's tiny. It just he's shows tiny. you that you can... And But he exuded this presence of like a yeah. sex god, and everybody took him to be that way, mm-hmm. which is amazing. Let's go crazy. Oh, that? come on. That's a Great. jam. That's a jam. 1999? Yeah, that's a jam. fucking jam. Party uh, jam. Purple Rain is, I yeah. think, a perfect sure. album. I still sure. listen to it. Um... The, uh, but I mean, also, you know, even, even the earlier, a stuff further, I was saying a little stuff. later on, you know, you get to some of the, the songs that were just amazing to listen to as well. And, you know, in honor of him, we have a, a little bit of it because we were, we're big fans, you know? Good morning, everyone. How are you today? <laughs> it's me again, Shane Lee. Tom and Christina from your mom's house podcast hmm. mm-hmm. not a good Maybe angle for camera so work me to teach you how to sing diamonds and pearls i love diamonds friends. and pearls everyone loves this song yeah it's so good <laughs> Just, <I'll rip. laughs> yeah. i liked his earlier stuff too paisley park and uh yeah it's is this paused? Or no, no, no. That's that's just the intro to the. Oh, uh, that's all. Um, um, you know the song Paisley Park is yeah. in Girl on the Season. That's a good song. Yeah, he dude, he's got <sighs> so many a hits. Killer that library. Guy. It, it's it's crazy. A library, man. yeah. A library, yeah. New diamonds and pearls. Such a good song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> New diamonds and pearls. Okay, so we're just doing a little sample. <laughs> well, you know, we get the, the they might flag it for being a, a duplicate copy <laughs> on YouTube. They right. Go, oh, so the audio here, matches whatever. up perfectly with the original, and then <laughs> YouTube. You want to flag it? Takes it down. So we just gave you a little sample. Hmm. But, yeah, you gave you diamonds <laughs> and pearls. Uh, it's not it's diamonds uh, and, and pearls. Yeah. Um, a special boy or a girl. He, yeah, I mean Shane exuded everything that I think Prince did <laughs> in this. Um, Even aesthetically similar. Very similar guys. It's a tribute. It's really a tribute. Um, obviously Shane, um, you know, he wasn't doing his best there. He makes that clear in a lot of his clips. He's like, I'm not doing my best. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what's interesting to point out as I I go through 
these pages here I'm, I'm looking for. I, I have more of Shane, which I, I know you want to hear. Um, Everybody is on bated breath waiting for more Shane. Con. Shane episodes uh, that we, we featured him back to back a while ago. Um, yeah, let me see. Um, I sort of had some technical problems with the uh, computer. Um, couldn't quite do it perfectly. <laughs> perfectly. Uh-huh. Well, that'll get, that'll get flagged for sure. You gave you diamonds and pearls. Will be a very good. You gave you. you. Yeah. Um, yep, there you go. But I really, I, I loved Prince as a little girl. Yeah, I, just, yeah. I thought he was just amazed. He still is, was. Yeah. What a bummer. Um, when we dedicated entire segments to Shane, this oh is just boy. trivia from our show. Your mom's house trivia? Is this going to yeah. go on the Wikipedia page? This will go on the Wikipedia page. When we dedicated um, 20 minutes to him oh on an boy. episode, I don't know, a year ago, the following week, our listenership went down by <laughs> over 30%. Easily. Mm-hmm. And, and it took a while to regain that. Yeah, it did. People were like, too. nope. Nope. Yep. People were... Aggressively Outraged. upset with the emails we got. Yeah. Stop playing this guy. He's the worst. Yeah. He's the worst. So yeah, yeah. we don't want to overdo it no, with Shane Lee. <laughs> That's the little bit half form there. A little, little bit half form. <laughs> a little bit half form there. A little bit. Yeah. That's what Feef sounded like when he had a camel cough. Yeah, it's exactly what he sounded like. Um, so yeah, but, of, yeah. but it's, it's gone. So rest in peace, Prince. Oh, um, it's such a bummer. Yeah. And, you know, and then these shit suck artists are still alive. You know, mm-hmm. why not Justin Bieber? Take him, God. Instead, oh, you're taking g- the good ones. <laughs> yeah. You know, and there really isn't a climate to nurture artists as weird as Prince now. If you look at it, it's gone. Yeah. Look at Look at people like Patti Smith, like these weird androgynous people, Prince. Even Bowie, right? These gender non-binary uh, people, if you will, mm-hmm. it's it's gone. Gone is this time. Well, you know, I um, a lot of people don't know this, but I'm poly mm-hmm. and I'm bi, <laughs> and I'm also uh, non-binary. You're I'm proud to have come out as polyamorous, <laughs> and now I'm excited to share that I'm bisexual. Yeah, <laughs> I'm non-binary too. <laughs> Oh, the non-binary, for those of you uh, who don't know what the term means, I'm surprised if you don't. I mean, who who isn't non-binary yeah, these days? Right. Uh, President Obama went to London and was taking taking questions from the yeah. audience, and a, a Pakistani person came out as non-binary to right. President Obama, and that was on Twitter. And we were like, "What's non-binary?" Yeah. It it, it means neither gender, correct? Yeah, it means you're you don't <laughs> identify fully. With yeah, male or female. I'm totally gender. non-binary. Yeah, are you feel like that too? Totally. Hmm. I'm like I'm demi, demi gendered. Hmm. You know. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know. I, I don't know. There's so much. To, there's so many different genders. There are a now. lot. I'm gonna see what my dad thinks. <laughs> we we the, thinks. If we can get him on the phone, I don't know. If That's the best part about this stuff is asking our dads what they think about these gender yeah new new gender norms. I hope hope he answers. So it was really great telling him the first time. Hello, mom. Tom, you were calling on the other line. Of course. Well, I was trying to call the dad, and I hear I said that phone I don't recognize it, but that's not your phone, no. Yeah, uh, yeah, I was calling from my other phone. I have, two, we have a few phones here. So. Ah, I thought 213, and I said, this has to be a salesman. Somebody trying to name both for Hillary. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, I wanted to tell you something I'm really excited about. Um, I'm, I'm poly, and I'm bi, and I'm non-binary. You're what? I'm poly, and I'm bi, and I'm non-binary. This is what I understand. I'm calling and I'm bi and I'm not binary. <laughs> so I, I, if I put it together, it doesn't make any sense. Not even Chinese. I'm polyamorous, I'm bisexual, and I'm non-binary. You're 
You're bisexual? Yeah, but I'm also... Why don't you become transgender? Then why don't you become transgender so you complete the whole picture now? <laughs> no, but I'm non-binary. Ask Christina if she doesn't mind. You're not buying? I'm, I'm non-binary. You're not binary. You're just <laughs> bisexual. No, no. I, I don't identify as either male or female. <laughs> I'm just... I don't, I don't identify as either gender. <laughs> So I, I prefer- but you cannot go to the bathroom. Be sure to be sure to go party before you go out. <laughs> You're totally screwed. You're not either one. <laughs> unless, unless yeah. we get Trump. Unless we get Trump. Yeah, Trump. There is a chance he's going to respect your your that your nothing. Are you a Trump fan? Nothing then? sad. I am. I'm not a nobody. I mean, this is awful. This is embarrassing. Yeah. I, I absolutely, the idea that I'm going to watch Hillary talking is the most fake politician I have ever seen. Hi, the smile, and is a typical politician. They're telling you everything you want to hear, the way you want to, which I don't see authenticity at all, and it drives me insane. So that's Trump a- is a not crazy boy that doesn't have a clue how to run the country. Yeah. I would love to see, a, what's his name, Kasich? Yeah, yeah. Is the only guy that, for me, sounds honest, completely knowledgeable, and it says he doesn't have charisma and is not a leader. Yeah. And, and, and tell me, who, who do you like? Honestly, do you want Hillary? Um, I want, I, I, I'd rather have just another non binary person <laughs> leading the country, you know? Well, why don't you run? Well, that's the thing. Um, that's the other <laughs> announcement I wanted to tell you that I'm probably going to run for president. <laughs> Mom, it's not a joke. Okay. I, I take it totally serious. If Trump can win, why can't you? Oh, oh, Christina. You already have the support of four of us. Christina wanted to tell you, wanted me to, well, she's here, but she wanted to tell you about the shower we took oh, the other day. Because um, she's been oh like, I'm going to tell your mother. Because we took a shower together. Here, tell tell her, babe. Can she hear me? Yeah. Oh, my. Hi, Dora. I can hear you. Oh, Hi, Christina. <laughs> so your son and tell I. Tell me about it. Yeah, you're going to love this. Your son and I thought it would be romantic and loving to take a shower together. And okay, I can, almost, I can almost guess what he did. What do you think happened? Uh, I think he started farting and poop came out. <laughs> Close. No, I'm he, right. he spread his butt cheeks to get the water on it. He used the bar of soap ah, and he put the bar of soap ah. in his butthole. Instead I, of taking Christina, <laughs> I, ah, dear God, please tell me the story. No, no, don't bother him. Tell me this is so disgusting. Wait, I think gets, I think my husband will enjoy and will be proud of him. Wait, it gets better, and then you mean it gets worse? No, it can oh, get better. It gets and, worse. Oh. So then he starts horking like, <laughs> like hawking a loogie. I, I, <laughs> dear God, ah. Oh. And, oh. No, and then he blows oh. snot. He he puts one finger on one nostril and pushes the snot out of the Christina, other one. That's enough. <laughs> I can I can even you tell me this. I can't believe you're telling me. Yeah, this, and then this. I, and then I, I and don't then, want to hear it anymore. All done. <laughs> no, I promise you. And then the snot was in his beard. And then he peed oh. on me. He peed on me in the show. Oh. Oh. I can imagine him even with that imagination. Nevertheless, saying he did something. Like that. This is Horrible. the most disgusting thing Horrible. in my 70 years of life I ever heard. And you think this is funny? I don't this think it's disgusting. funny. I think it's horrible. I think we were trying to have well, a And nice... what do you think? Well, that didn't surprise me. He just told me that he's not binary and he's not mixed, but he's nothing. He's bisexual, <laughs> but doesn't qualify. And you don't mind that he's bisexual, by the way? Oh, I think, yeah, he's. Well, he's poly. He's polyamorous, bisexual, but he's non-binary. So he's not attracted to either sex. Oh, I thought he was bisexual. So he's, he's what? He's bisexual, he said. Right, well, but, but he's also non-binary. I so like I out. like both sexes, but I'm neither sex. Right. He's asexual. Oh. It's very, very complicated. <laughs> but, they can fix you and do something with you, Tommy. Can this I tell is, you something? Very hurtful that Christina did. Well, after we took that shower, she told me that oh I was like I, that I was a homeless person. <laughs> that I that that, uh, that it was like showering with a homeless person. Isn't that rude? Wait a, 
with a homeless person? Yeah, she said that showering with me is like showering with a homeless person because I'm well, spitting and... It. Why are you, you're not degrading the homeless people. I mean, why, why is that? <laughs> Ask that, her about I don't know what she means with a homeless person. Ask her about the, the homeless comfort. person is clean and she's taking a shower, so what is wrong? Ask her about oh. the comforter if she noticed that he was washing the comforter. She's cleaning himself. Oh, that's right. right. That's true. That's a good point, Mom. Hey, um, yeah. so Dad told me the other day that he farted on the bed and that there was shit on the bedspread. He it did. It's true. And what did you think when, <laughs> you, when you heard this? No, I, I walk in the house and I see your fire cut in the comforter in the washing machine. I, said, I just wash it. He said, yeah, but I just poop on it. <laughs> and I said, What? He said, well, it was, it was an accident. I didn't mean to, but I, I had a little fart, and it came. It was one of those farts that you don't know is just not a fart. So yeah. I, I oh, Do you know that those are, Mom, do you know that those are called a shart? Oh. Do you know those are called a shart? I have no interest in knowing the name of those, because if I have one of those, I have a doubt, I go to the bathroom. No, no, it's called a shart. People usually. It's called a shart. Shark? Yeah, shart. S-H-A-R-T. <laughs> A shark. Oh, he had a shark thing. Right, because when you go to fart, but you shit, so it's a shark. Well, usually you have one of those, whatever the name is, I don't like it. If it happens, it's in your underwear. But right. if you go through your underwear to the, to the pants and to the bed, then you poop in your pants. You didn't shark. <laughs> that's a good point, actually. That's a good point. Isn't that the truth? Yes. I mean, how can you go through so much stuff? Now, do you, good distinction. Did, did you, it's a very important distinction. Did it bother you that he didn't remove the poop stains from the bedspread? He just put with the chunks of poop into the washer? I mean, would you mind to change the topic of conversation? This is so disgusting <laughs> that I love no, my appetite. I was, when you call, I was having a cup of coffee with a coffee cake. Yeah. And I was calling the vet for my dog. I hung up with the vet to see who is this person who's calling me to both numbers. It has to be something important. First, I saw somebody who wants me to vote for Hillary uh-huh. because they are that inconvenient. They are that inconvenient. They call you when you don't want to, and they tell you bullshit, and you throw it by it. Right. But they tend to be you to talk about poop, which is even worse. But we're, all we're talking. But we're worried it's about you. We're, I'm worried you about you. You haven't her. even tell me. You haven't even tell me how is the baby. We talk only uh, about the baby. He's in the crate right now. He's in his. Oh, he, that's just. He's locked up. Just give it to me because you're you're so busy now being by this and not this, but that. But you're not a poly, but you're a bio. What is the story? <laughs> no, I'm poly and I'm bi, but I'm also <laughs> non non-binary. You're poly. Yeah, and bi. And and I'm, I'm, I'm bi. And non-binary. <laughs> And non binary. Non binary. <laughs> non binary. And yeah. what is non binary? I don't identify that? as either gender. That's very sad. A casino doesn't mind? No. Like you don't mind? And here's the thing when you refer to me, you don't say he. Like, you don't go, he would like to do that. <laughs> you say they. So if somebody says. They, like you are plural. So you're right. both. Right. Yeah. So, Why can I say it? You are nothing. Actually, you are not they. Let me clarify this again. You guys don't talk good English. Okay. You are not they. You are it because you are nothing. <laughs> now you are nothing. Point. You, are not, you don't identify like this and you don't identify like that. So you are it. That's a little hurtful, but okay. Well, it's between my kitchen table and you, neither one is nothing. Well, I don't know if I'm at your kitchen table. I'm telling you. Well, I, tell me, if you, if you have no feelings. You, you, you're not attracted to either one. You are not bisexual. You are not poly. You are not Billy. You are not Bali. You are not Billy. You are just that. So that's not they. You are not two people. The opposite. You are reducing yourself to it. We prefer they. <laughs> well, I, I'm sorry. Oh. For me, it's it. Tell it's her. Not they. they are not two people in there. Tell her we're it making... They, you know, you want to be both, and, and she doesn't mind, and you're, oh, God, it's conversation. Which, uh, Charo, yeah. we're making sure to raise Ellis in a non-gender conformist environment, too. We're going to dress him up in pink. Okay, that, that, right now, you just told me you're joking. What because do you mean? What? If you, no, well, I don't well, want him to grow up to, confused. Yeah. Well, can I, can I pick up the baby, and after you guys have some treatment? Like in a couple of years, I give it back. Well, when he's done playing with his dolls, yeah, maybe. I'm sorry. I, I think that 
I think he deserves to, to be in a normal environment in which I will care what he is and what well, he does. maybe we have a different definition of normal. Yeah, but I, I, but I know what normal is because I'm, I'm only a, a million years older than you. So I know normal. Okay. I know normal. Whatever. All right. In changing the topic of all this dirt conversation, by the yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. We went to the movies yesterday, and I love the movie. Christina, you will love it. What is it? What? My name is Dolly. My name is Dolly? Or Polly? Polly, I, I, Polly Dolly, Dolly. My name is Dolly and Pie? My name is Polly Pie? <laughs> no, my name is Doris. Doris. Is Doris. Doris. Oh, Doris. Okay. I love it. What's, what, what is it about? Yeah, what's it about? Uh, well, this is an older woman. Yeah. Okay, sounds had gross. A crush. Yeah. She walks and she has a crush on a younger guy. And what she goes through, and the, I mean, it, her acting is superb. I mean, they don't give Oscar for those type of acting, but she will be celebrated for her fantastic job. Well, that's she cool. She did a job that, oh, I thought that No, it's not the movie you say, oh, my God, it was a great movie. That was amazing. Yeah. And you should see this. No, it's a movie that is entertaining, it makes you laugh, it makes you feel good. Well, cool. We'll check it out when they make a poly buy version. But mom, <laughs> uh, can I call you back on the other line? Yeah, but I want to talk more of this. Yeah, no, no. We'll talk baby stuff and everything. I got to go take a shit. Yeah. I'll call you when I'm done with this. Yeah, go, go, take, talk, take, take three shits because he's not sure he does it in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. No, he, no, he. Be sure that it does it in the bathroom. There you go. <laughs> there you go. You're getting there. I, I, Finally. Yeah. All right. They love so you. Bye, Christina. Bye. 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 Love bye. you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you know what we should do when they come visit next Wood time? Wu-Tang is dangerous. Protect your neck, brother. <laughs> there you go. Big Wu-Tang fan, my mom. We should buy um, dolls for Ellis when she comes over next time. Mm-hmm. Like Barbies and put them around Ellis. It's true. And Let's put see. them in a dress. See if they like it. <laughs> yeah. It's a good idea. Yeah. Well, that went well. That went great. Yeah. I mean... She's not as supportive as I was hoping for, but, you know. Well, I hate when people aren't as supportive as they should be of this stuff, you know? I know. I know. Progress, people. are trying to make Hello. progress. Hello. I'm Polly and I'm bi. <laughs> Let's get some progress. Um, yeah, here was the time I told my dad. Dad. Buddy. Hey, I got to tell you something. What's that? I'm, I'm Polly and I'm bi. What's that? <laughs> I'm Polly and I'm bi. <laughs> Uh, that was the best day of my life when we told yeah. your dad you were Paul. He goes, all right, buddy. <laughs> little lacy DC, huh? You know, little switch hitter. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's so funny. I love explaining this stuff to the older generation. It's really fun. I can't wait to tell my dad about non-binary. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> they, they, their heads explode when you try to explain this stuff to them. Oh, yeah. I was talking about the bathroom thing with North Carolina mm-hmm. with my dad, and he was like, if somebody has a dick... Then they can piss next to me, but if they don't have a dick, they can't come into the bathroom with me. I'm nice. like, that makes sense. He's like, I don't know why people aren't worried about children pissing next to grown men. That's more worrisome. I mean, you actually have a point. Like, Wait, what's he worried about? Like, you know how in men's bathroom stalls, yeah. you guys just fucking pee next to each other? Yeah. And if you're lucky, there's some kind of a divider. Right, and sometimes there's not. Yeah, yeah. he's like, I think we should be more concerned about like, oh, right. little that, boys. That is the bigger to, issue. To yeah. big old dicks? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you don't know what the, what the grown men are doing. It's terrifying. Yeah. When you're a little kid, a uh, little boy, public restrooms are, are kind of terrifying. Of course. Yeah. I mean, the fact that you should be expected to whip your genitals out in front of strangers is really and crazy. People piss on the floor and like, oh yeah. yeah, there's just like, and it's it is intimidating to be, you know, as you're the height of the other people's dicks. Oh geez, so you know what I mean? Your face is at their cock dick level. level yeah, yeah. pull out their. You got to go with Ellis whenever you're out with him. Make sure that. Oh okay. Thanks. Don't just let him go alone, pissing everywhere, you know? You're just thinking about the future right now? Yeah, of course. Yeah. My terrified son of these monster cocks all yeah. over him. <laughs> all over him? You know, around him. Like hit him on the head with it and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what happens. Hey, little boy. Yeah, it's a bigger... It is a bigger issue. Yeah. Let's keep our sons protected from these monster public dicks. That's really or the... Jumbo, as you like to call yours. Yeah. <clears throat> Jumbo's... He's something else, man. He is something else. That was really funny. Your mom really didn't like the Oof. the shower that we took together. <laughs> she got really You upset. know what I noticed mm. is that she will talk longer about gross things she doesn't like if it's coming from me. Right. Like we get a little longer of a rope. Yeah. 
But when it's just you, she like will hang up on you. Yeah. So in the future, this is a great tag team. Sure. Give it to me. Let me tell her the details. Yeah. Because she'll she'll stay on the line longer. Yeah. Uh, and for those of you watching on YouTube's, um, the reason that I handed the laptop over is because we were using. You hear us through the recorded microphone, but she hears us through the microphone in the laptop. So if you're wondering, like, why the fuck are they doing that? It's that. Um, yeah. I, that's I, why I did feel like at a certain point in that call, though, she was like. Y'all, y'all, y'all finished or y'all done? You know? <laughs> <laughs> some respect? Yeah, she was definitely like. Put some respect on my name. Put some respect on my name. Put some respect on my P-O-P, name. Hold on it down. Hold it down. Hold it down. It was definitely what was going Mama, on. Mama, I love you. Mama, I love you. <laughs> yeah, she was definitely. <clears throat> uh, I know you guys are dying to know what's up with Bitsy and her diarrhea. Mm-hmm. Took her to the vet, and they tested her poopies to see if there's some kind of viral whatever, and it's not that. She is just stupid, and she's eating stuff in the backyard. And, the, and they basically said that. Yeah, the vet was like, stuff. you know what? Some dogs are dumb and just eat everything. So you ha- we had to get a special dog food to offset the fact that she will just eat horrible things and give herself diarrhea. Pills for a baby for life. Pills for a day. Mama, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, I love you. Practically Put some respect on my name. There you go. The two of them together. Y'all, y'all, y'all finished or y'all done? <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah. Um, LinkedIn is helpful. LinkedIn is helpful. I don't fuck with LinkedIn. I mean, <laughs> LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Oof, um, also, I uh, I watched a Hitler movie. Oh. On Netflix called Look Who's Back. Yeah. It's a German film, and it was actually pretty good. Really? Yeah. It took a neat uh, twist. I didn't think it would hey, go where it, it's interesting. Yeah. They made a movie that Hitler wakes up in the year 2015 or 2014. I forget. And what's it called? Look Who's Back? Look Who's Back. It's in German. It's subtitled. It's so... F- I loved it. It was really funny. Of course and, you loved it. Uh, really interesting social commentary and all that crap. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, all it is. We have a couple other things. Oh, first we have this announcement I should probably get to uh, that we haven't gotten to yet. All it is. Oh, no, no. Uh, Your mom really hates the brown dog. Oh, chips in a bowl. That's big. Big news. It is. It's big news. Um, so. It's so major. It's something I wanted to make sure. We had our ducks in a row for, for a while. Um, and so I, I was talking to Blue Band and I had to make sure everything was lined up. And then uh, he flew <laughs> to a couple of places for me and made sure we were set to go. Um, and he did this for me. And that is that we are now ready to... Bring out the new, the all new bikes shirt. Oh my god! Um, oh my gosh! This is something that um, was originally on our oh uh, my gosh. on our mommy jams uh, on this show, and then I, I made a bit about it on um, on the uh, Netflix special. Yes, and then now it is ready to go. We have a bunch of them. They are absolutely fire. We even have a um, promo. Bikes! 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 That is great. Uh, Blue Band did oh, that. Good job, Blue Band. That's good really job, neat. Blue. Really good work. Band. That's hilarious. Is that is that promo up anywhere that people can see it? It's gonna be. Uh, cool. So cool. we just showing it here for the first time. That's a really neat design. I like this, that. Uh, yeah, it's the new bike shirt. Um, we had one for for a while. This one um, is on a much higher quality T shirt. It's an all new design. It has a few bikes on it, and of course, it has the word bikes in big block letters. Um, the store is now up. Uh, if you go to TomSegura.com. Uh, in your mom's house podcast dot com, uh, you can check it out, and uh, we're very excited. And we have them fully stocked, so there is it's not a pre sale. There won't be the um, the issue that we had before with a lot of you waiting on your sub cane shirts. I profusely apologize for that, 
and uh, it won't happen with these. And the Sup Kane shirts that you do see on my site um, are only ones that we have in stock. So we have a new system that counts the inventory and eliminates shirts that are no longer there. You will not have to wait again. So a thousand apologies. Please get the bikes shirt. It uh, supports us. It supports the show. And it supports, um, you know, it supports our our guy here, our uh, our producer, Blue Band. You Jew motherfucker, you! So, please get them. <laughs> Jeez. It's really intense. Um, anyways, really I'm intense. really excited about bikes, James. <clears throat> Good. That's exciting, guys. Yeah. Pick up your shorts. Do your shopping on Amazon. Get um, on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is helpful. Uh, is there anything else? Mm. I don't think. think so. I think we covered a lot of topics. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to do the Tr- the Donald Trump dick detectives real quick? Okay. Um, sure. One second. Let me pull this up. Da, da. Meow, 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 meow. The dick detectives. And you have a um, a number of what are these JPEGs I'm supposed to bring up? Yeah, okay. Um, so here is a, <laughs> an image of him to get you get your mind in the right place. How about Chara with his political commentary? Yeah, he's such a. Turd. This picture looks. It does look like he just finished. He's like, oh, I guess feels good. Feels good that you just put a finger. Yeah. <laughs> It feels good you have a finger in the booty hole, right? Doesn't that kind of look like a pleasure face? Yeah. Um, Look at this turkey neck. So you want to go first? I mean, everybody knows the answer to this. I feel like it's kind of a no-brainer. Yeah. It's obviously orange. It's orange. Orange with fluffy white pubes. What about size-wise? There's been a lot of talk about his hand size. Mm -hmm. Um, He was accused of having small hands, and then he made a very um, clear message that... My hands, first of all, he doesn't think they're that small. And also, no one's ever complained about my manhood. So he was basically saying, I, I at least don't have a small dick. He didn't say, I have a big dick, but he didn't say, I have, you know. He said no one's ever complained about it. I'm going to go for short and thick like a Coke can. But it's short. Like it's a not Coke can. But it's thick. Coke can is... Yeah, but it's not it's not great because it's too short. How short are, is it? I don't know. I mean, you know, I don't know. It's yeah. just short. It's short. It's orange hmm. with white pubes, and his beans are tiny. I think he's got small little animals. Okay. What do you think? I think it's actually like a little, like a cute little button. Like um, there's actually I saw. Yeah, this is it here. There's this sketch that. Um, that I that I saw of that uh, what's her name, Ilma? Is that her name who did it? Ilma Gore, yeah. Ilma Gore did a sketch of him. Let's see, and um, I'll try to bring bring it up here. It's 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 become very popular, and I think in my mind it's very accurate um, as far as here it is here. <laughs> oh yeah, right. right? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, that's totally, uh, th- that makes sense. When you look at the in proportion of the body type. Where it's like mm-hmm. real small. Flaccid, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. He's got a nice, because he's got some weight on him. He's mm-hmm. got a nice fat pad here. Mm-hmm. And uh, and it basically, you just see the head mm-hmm. kind of poking out when it's flaccid. Mm-hmm. And then it probably grows, I think, probably around four inches, you know? Yeah, I don't, I don't think he's got anything extraordinary going on down there. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I would give him a little more length on that. You think so? Yeah, but the shape of it and the color and everything looks about accurate. I think, um, yeah, I think that's about it. Oh. I'm going to go with Ilma's uh, depiction. Right. Wow. I think it's really accurate. And, you know, I'm not going to lie. It looks a lot like mine. Um, so that's, uh, that's kind of what I've You been... think? I don't think so. He doesn't yeah. have any balls in that picture. I definitely have. Oh, they're tiny. His yeah. balls are tiny. I definitely have balls. Yeah, or bigger balls. You have longer, hangier. Depends how full they are. Yeah, they get yeah. full sometimes. But like your dad's, they're bigger. <laughs> <sighs> <It's> so gross. <laughs> um, so, but the, the problem with this episode of Dick Detectives is uh, we don't get to ask Donald. So, which is it? Because yeah. that's how we usually like to play. 
I mean, Blue Band, do you want to decide who's more accurate? Is it a Coke can in girth and short, or is it what I saw there, that little head that Ilma drew and about four inches long? Uh, Blue Band just gave me the mm. point and the thumbs up, meaning I win this round wow. of Dick Detectives. <laughs> What kind of dick? I mean, what would be your ideal dick to have? Ideal? Not one of these fantasy dicks that you see, you know, in sex stores or on a few porn stars that are just gargantuan. I think that's too crazy. I think everybody would want the ideal one would be like a little above average in everything. A little longer than average, a little girthier than average. Um, So I don't know. Maybe like... Eight's like long, but not like, what the fuck is that, right? So eight inches long. And then maybe like where your finger, like your fingers don't quite touch when you hold it, you know? Like mine, I can go like this and like <laughs> and I can tie, put fingers around it like four times. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, if somebody were to like walk in on me, I could just put like three fingers down and cover it, you know? <laughs> What color would be an ideal penis color? I think like a deep purple would probably be the ideal color. You see it sometimes, depending on your blood situation. But I think if it was like just deep, deep purple from from base to head all the time, that'd be an ideal color. What? How does that happen? Is that when it's just full of blood? It's that color? I think, yeah. I mean, and then what's going on with your veins and yeah. Yeah. And then what about balls? Balls. I mean, ideally you want probably... Pound and a half, two pounds each, um, you know, because nice big balls are exciting to women. <laughs> and what about hair? Oh, hairless, On of course. Hairless, yeah, naturally, yeah. I'm shaving that thing up all the time, man. I know it's such a hassle to shave pubic hair. I hate it. I know. I'm so over it. I really would. I wouldn't mind removing it all. Yeah, I know. Me too. That'll be yeah. kind of neat. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> I, didn't, well, I should I didn't ask know you, about you. What's your ideal one, babe? Here yours is my ideal. Here one. Here we go. That's the loving answer. Of course. Of course. Of course. No, I oh, don't. Oh, yours is perfect. I really don't. It's. I think. Oh it's my not, god. It's not an objective thing. It's the person. This made me laugh so hard. Is the yeah? It's here. So um, we had this. You know, with the last few weeks we played the the woman lifting weights and screaming. Yeah. And then we had the mm-hmm. woman getting the tattoo and screaming. Yeah. And now we have um, oh, arm wrestling. Oh, <laughs> He's at an arm wrestling competition. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Don't move. Oh. The guy's laughing. The, the, the ref. I can't even rap it, man. You hear him? He goes, I can't, can't even rap it. it. It's hilarious. She's so weird. Here, put your hands here for me. <laughs> She's wow, so bizarre, Wow, what right? a weird beard, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then we had, yeah. Do you think she does that to psych out the opponent? Or yeah, it's, I'm sure it's, it's natural. Her, it's <laughs> it's like, her thing, you know? Yeah. It works. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely works. <laughs> So, so good. is the thing I'm looking for labeled everything? So good. Is that the one called everything? Okay. So this is, uh, man, this made me so happy. Um, Blue Band put together. <laughs> Wait, is this it? Is this it? I hope so. Wow. 
what masterful work. So that this is, is so good. Two arm wrestlers, the weightlifter, and the lady getting the tattoo, yeah. screaming yeah. all at the same time. That's good shit. Yeah. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? Um, oh, it's so hard. This lady I hate and love at the same time. Yeah, the I tattoo hate her. lady. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> she's like, look at this one's okay, face. Okay, I know this lady. That one's great. Totally her face ridiculous. is great. It's so ridiculous. I like the old lady in the corner. Yeah, the weightlifting that lady. One's amazing. It's all good, man. You can't you can't really go wrong with this one. Um, look, there's other stuff we didn't get to, but I think we got to wrap up this show, man. Yeah. There's uh, too much. Uh, okay. Thanks for watching. If you're watching, and if you're not watching, why aren't you watching us on YouTube? Silly jeans, you better get your life. Get your life. There's two closing songs, right? Yeah. Um, pick the one that says farting, not the one that's Pick the one that says farting. Okay. That's how you know it's good. All right. That's our show. You got it. Um, please, your mom's house podcast.com, tomsegura.com. Please get the bikes shirt, it's bikes. on sale. Um, we have the store is being has a few other shirts and it's being rebuilt. So please support mm. the show. Mm. And that's it. Um, domestic shipping is free, by the way. So oh, that's nice. That's nice. Anything else, Jeans? You good? That's it. I love you. I love you. Bye. Bye, farts. Bye, mommy. Yeah. Bacon and mayonnaise. Fuck. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Put his legs up like a diaper. Diaper, diaper. Diaper. Placement, movement, placement, movement. I'm far on your haters. There's no haters here. Placement, movement, placement, movement. Like he'll put his legs up like a ping tong, ping tong. <laughs> placement, movement, placement, movement. I'm far on your haters. There's no haters here. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with y'all? Yeah.